There are other new laws taking effect today, first day of July. Nursing homes and senior centers can now host bingo more than twice a week. That's right, baby. Every night, round the clock bingo going down at your neighborhood nursing home. B5. And also, when you go to visit grandma or grandpa, do you get to play? You can now <gasps> legally play as well. That's right. Postage stamp, four corners, cover all. Got all the options. Also, today, in a more serious law, Uber drivers required to buy liability insurance for their ride sharing service. And some child care programs will see easier licensing requirements today. A man's death is under investigation in the South Metro. He was killed when a trench he was digging with his brother collapsed yesterday. It happened in Lakeville around 3.45 in the afternoon near 179th Street and Hyde Park. Police say the two men were using a backhoe to dig a six to eight foot trench when it collapsed, trapping one of them. Workers building a home nearby tried to rescue the 51-year-old man but could not pull him out in time. It took workers more than three hours to stabilize the trench and recover his body. A Mankato teenager has severe injuries after she slammed into a dock when she was tubing. The man who was pulling her on a jet ski faces charges for leaving the scene. This happened on Loon Lake last Friday. Police arrived to find a 16-year-old girl lying face down at the boat landing with blood all around her. She was airlifted to St. Mary's Hospital in Rochester. Witnesses told police 23-year-old Lance Jones was using a jet ski to pull the girl and another woman. Officials say Jones and another man left the scene. Police tracked them down. Jones and the other man now face charges in Blue Earth County. There is no decision yet on whether the teenager accused of plotting to attack his school in Wasika will go on trial as an adult. 18-year-old John Ledoux was back in Wasika County Court yesterday for a hearing. Ledoux was 17 when police found him in a storage unit with bomb making materials and a plan to kill his family and attack his high school. Attempted murder charges were dropped, but Ledoux still faces charges for possessing explosives. The Wasika County attorney says the court has 15 days to make a decision on whether Ledoux will be tried as an adult. This morning, police need help finding an endangered missing teen from Minneapolis. Vashti Marie St. Hilaire has been missing since June 25th. As she needs medication for some serious medical conditions, does not have that medication on her. She's five foot one, brown hair. You see her picture on the screen here. Police think she may be with a man. If you see this teenager, call Missing Children Minnesota or call Columbia Heights Police. Overnight, Greece became the first developed nation to fail to pay its debts to the International Monetary Fund on time. The country's European bailout program also expired at the end of the day, which means Greece is now cut off from billions of European fund euros. The referendum will be held Sunday for voters to decide if Greece should accept demands by creditors in exchange for loans. Financial emergency has led Greece to put a cap on bank withdrawals only letting people to take out $67 a day using their ATM cards. Banks are closed until Monday, although a thousand branches will be open today through Friday to allow pensioners without bank cards to get cash. Unbelievable. Mm, what a mess. Ready to hear which fast food franchise is America's favorite? Sure. Uh, Chick fil A. Chick fil A. You surprised? No, that doesn't surprise me. It's according to a new customer satisfaction survey. The chicken restaurant was rated 86 out of 100, so B plus. I think they train people more there about customer service. You well, they also focus service. on one thing, that, the chicken sandwich. Yeah. That's yeah. their primary. Yeah, it probably makes it easier. You don't mess it up. Nope. What are you going to get? Chicken. Exactly. Or their waffle fries are delicious. Chipotle was number two, followed by Panera and Papa John's. McDonald's was in dead last of the 18 restaurants in the survey with 67% satisfaction. What I do find interesting about number two and number three is it's mm -hmm. kind of more of that concept that you, it's, it's like the higher end fast food. Right. Yeah, fast food is out. It's fast casual. It's all about that kind of counter service, but better food, better service. They all now, I believe, do have calorie counts, though, too. So they're trying yeah. to entice customers in. But right. We'll yeah. see. We're